Not Your Professional Walkthroughs Channel presents... And hopefully I will be forgotten for that horrible, horrible stuff I did in the previous episode to the farmer's wife. I mean, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another sermon here for Graveyard Keeper on Not Your Professional Authors Channel. Well, after I'm done trying to repent for that horrible, horrible stunt I pulled on the previous episode, and thank you for everyone believing me, I'm gonna go and show you that other vision today since, well, the last episode kind of freaked me out way too much to continue going on, so hopefully we will be able to uncover more from what happened in the past here in the Graveyard Keeper's universe, as in the previous vision we were able to also see that they were able to summon the old god who looked really closely to the figure from the entirely entirely first episode way back in the day when I started this channel where we actually spoke to a shady looking figure exactly like that person so who knows anyhow I have been of course busy and I still have not figured out a better way to deal with the water shortage it feels like I have a drought on my own here in the basement of the cellar, but I'm gonna try to address it somehow. So, how about I just go and grab some water, and once I'm done with that, I'll talk to you. A few moments later. Okay, well, I promise you to cover the Sigit. Or how in the world am I supposed to pronounce this damn ring? So let's go give it to Gary and let's go see what will happen. Scratch Scratch, 
still confusing the heck out of me and I believe we are at 80 points and that would be the achievement for the epic skull here for the tavern hopefully finally the layouts are working for my recording so I won't have to actually put in the achievement on its own and it has been recorded because we actually achieved two achievements at this point so yeah Wait, does that mean that the brick is the last freaking vision? Oh my god! What am I gonna do? I don't wanna finish off Graveyard Keeper this fast. I mean, it's been so much fun covering this stuff. All things considered. I mean, I have to be honest, some of the grinding has been hellish. I hated it, especially when I had to get those 20 corpses for snakes to get those blood fountains working and such and I mean like seriously blood fountains who thought of that but yeah uh, I have no freaking idea where to get the energy elixir okay interesting where do I get the brick from the church do I just go into the church or something why do I feel like if I pull the brake it's gonna fall down or something because of that one brake? You know, like really bad game of Jenga. Seriously, where do I get a brake? Do I lift up the carpet? Do I move one of these comfy chairs? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, okay, uh, I'm, I'm gonna do it, but I'm really afraid that the whole cathedral will come crumbling down. Please don't do something dumb. Okay. Okay. But standing, I don't see any hole there. Well. Okay, so far it's not falling apart, so yeah, uh, well, unfortunately in order to keep this episode a bit more palatable, I'm gonna finish it off here. I do realize that I could potentially show you two visions in one episode, but all things considered, since I feel like this might be the final vision of the series for the Stranger Sins, I kind of don't want to. I'm really starting to freak out about the fact that I would finish off the initial series with which I have started off the channel. I mean, it's a fun game and I'm gonna probably 
try to do a bunch of more content for it because there is so much to be done. But other than that, I really hope that you enjoyed the vision, the episode, that you will consider subscribing to the channel for more fun content for either Graveyard Keeper or whatever other series I'm currently trying to cover. And I'm gonna wish you a pleasant day and hopefully I will see you at the next one or in the comment section. Thank you for watching, have a pleasant rest of the day, and bye bye